Now, your news on the go. Coming up on 655, a high-stakes hearing is set to begin in three hours on Capitol Hill. Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh under oath. And one of his accusers, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, will testify to the Senate Judiciary Committee. Ford is one of a group of women who accused Kavanaugh of sexual assault. He has denied all of those allegations. New this morning, Syracuse firefighters responded to a fire on the far west side. It's the corner of West Genesee Street and Milton Avenue, right at the Champs Pizzeria and Fish Fry. They knocked down the fire in pretty short order. No word yet on what started it, and we're not aware of any injuries there. A Rome City Court judge has dismissed charges against a teacher's assistant accused of excessive discipline involving several special needs students at the John E. Joy Elementary School. Maria Fountain pleaded not guilty to endangering the welfare of a child and harassment back in June. The teacher, 30-year-old Ashley Rosbach, is due back in court next week. Well, this week, student test scores, state standardized test scores from March were finally posted, and teacher advocates are taking the opportunity to push for not evaluating teachers based on these scores. State Board of Regents temporarily suspended the use of test scores and teacher evaluations, but that is scheduled to return next school year. A bill calling for reform of the evaluation system failed in the state Senate this past spring. A scam that might be catching some people living in Cayuga County using the government logo to try and trick people. An email that looks like it's from the county is asking you to make a donation on GoFundMe, supporting someone in need. Well, the county sheriff's office is warning people not to fall for it because it is a scam.